Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my garden. If you are new here, my name is Blanca. Today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around. I am also gonna show you what I got at the Ophi's Father's Day sales event. It was like, like an orchid and plant sale, Hoya sale, it was lots of fun. Um, I was there just one day, but in that one day, um, it was great. I got a lot of information. I got um, some new uh, orchids I wanna show you and and it was fun. It was such a fun show. It's always nice to go there. And of course, um, Chris and Carlos are always great hosts. So anyway, let me get started with my walk. Um, let me show you some fresh blooms. Uh, so my Vanda Golden de Bloom is in full bloom. Here she is. Such a pretty, such a pretty Vanda. So um, this Vanda, um, when she opens up, she's a little bit dark, um, like you see here. I mean, it's, she's actually darker. Um, the camera makes her look a little bit lighter, but um, she's actually like a, I wanna say like a brown orange. And then as she ages, she'll get a little bit more orange. And the fragrance on her is very sweet, kind of like caramel. Yeah, she's a very, um, she has a very sweet um, caramelly fragrance to her. Um, so this is a Vanda Golden de Bloom. I got it with Bang Jong. She's always in bloom and that's the tag right there. Vanda Golden Dublin. Very, very pretty. And like I mentioned in my other videos, normally she throws out two spikes at a time. This time the spikes came in at different times. So this is the second um, spike. So there you go. Another one in my collection that's in bloom is my Mem Thiang Chai, which is also from Bang Jong. It's a pretty big Vanda. Look at the size. Oh, why are you so blurry? There you go. So, um, this is, look at this, this one, she's got, she's got two cakeys on her and she goes all the way, let me get on this side, all the way up, all the way up the palm. So it's a pretty nice size Vanda. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is all her from here, all the way down to here. She's got, um, a flower spike right there on top you see that right there and then she is this one's obviously already in bloom so this one is um she's not fragrant as a matter of fact the one that i have in bloom um over here uh it's one of uh she, the menthian chai is one of the parents uh but this this parent here is not fragrant she's just um like a vibrant yellow I wish she was fragrant. I could, I could, I could imagine if she was. She'd probably smell like lemon <laughs> because of the color. Anyways, I do love this Vanda. Um, just the fact that she's all yellow like this, she's so pretty, and she blooms a lot. And I got this one also from Bang Jong. Now I do have her um, hanging from my palm tree from this little hook. Remember, my my Vandas really do not do well mounted actually attached on the palms. So I do have her hanging here and she loves it. She loves it. Everything is still spiking. And, and let me show you. Um, so this one that I have blooming over here, which is my Vanda Lamelada with Vanda Memtian Chai. This one This one, one of the parents is, is, is that Vanda over there. And, but this one is super fragrant. So I guess she gets the smell from the La Melada. <laughs> and, um, and this one, like I said in my other videos, if you guys haven't seen those, um, this one, uh, just in case you haven't seen any of those videos and you want to know some information about this girl. Um, so she smells like Starburst candy and she is always in bloom. There you go. She's all the way up there. So let me just show you like this. Such a beautiful Vanda. I love it. I got this one at Plantio Lorquidia a few years ago. And she's grown. And she's happy. Um, so one of the things that I love about going to these orchid, orchid shows is that I get so much information from the growers. So um, as I was seeing, um, as I was filming, and I'm just going to be looking around um, while I chat. As I was filming, I heard Tan from Springwater Orchids tell a customer, and you can actually go back to that video and hear him, uh, <laughs> what he was saying. So he was saying that the key to Vanda's 
is not just watering them all the time. They need humidity. So humidity is the key. Um, he was even saying that that's why sometimes, like in California, uh, Vandas don't do well because it's not just about the watering, it's also about the humidity levels, uh, which, I mean, kind of makes sense. Not that I've experienced growing Vandas in a, in a, in a place that's not humid, uh, but here in South Florida, I mean, it is, it cannot get more humid than here. And, um, and you see how well, I mean, Vandas grow for us. So uh, if you're frustrated because you have Vandas and you live in, um, you live somewhere where you have no humidity, and your vandas are not doing well and you water them all the time maybe um take that into consideration that they probably need a little bit more humidity so maybe like a humidifier or something like that to add that um humidity and um and they'll do better i don't know um i just heard him say that i thought it was you know kind of made sense made a lot of sense um so i just felt like i should um let you guys know in case you haven't seen that or you missed that conversation he was having a lot of times i'm filming and um you know you get you pick up all these conversations from these growers just giving everybody advice another thing everybody was talking about this weekend was um fungus lots and lots of fungal issues especially here in south florida i mean i uh thankfully i looked around everywhere and I can't, you know, I really don't have any fungal issues right now, but everybody was in there picking up um, fungicides because we are just getting so much rain. And look at this beauty still looking gorgeous. We're just getting so much rain, you guys, um, that if your um, orchids are not getting enough ventilation, um, they are just, uh, yeah, you're just gonna get, you're gonna have to treat with fungus. Start treating with fungus now during the rainy season because I am hearing that a lot and seeing that. As a matter of fact, I saw lots of pictures um, that you guys were showing me with um, orchids that have fungal infections. So uh, maybe now is the right time, definitely to start spraying some fungicides. Anyway, this pretty girl is still in bloom. Look at that. This is a Paxorn fragrance. And um, I did show some, uh, some of the pictures or some video of Cruel Smith that had them. And their orchids are also a little bit different. I mean, their Pax Warm Fragrance, this lip here was probably like that size. So if you like this um, this type of orchid, this Vanda Pax Warm Fragrance, I mean, you have many choices. If you find, um, you know, you can find many different colors. Anyway, um, so like I said, I was at the show. I didn't go too crazy uh, because I do have to pace myself. My Brassavola still in bloom. Um, I do have to pace myself so I do get um, just like exactly what I'm looking for, which is what I did this weekend. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Now this is my Brassavola Lime Sherbert. If you guys have this one in your collection, let me know when it's fragrant. <laughs> I come out here at night or like around um, 8 p.m., 7 p.m. And I'm here in the mornings, obviously, and she's not fragrant. So if you guys have this one uh, just leave it in the comments below and let me know what time does she smell <laughs> because i'm dying to see what she smells like i mean i think i've smelled her before but i don't remember uh so let's see everything else is looking good super drenched because it's it's been non-stop raining um and then of course i've got um still my sprinkler systems going in the morning so as you can see, everything looks nice and, and hydrated. All right, so let me show you what I got at the show. All right, as far as purchases, I, I did one purchase and one purchase only, <laughs> which is this pretty girl right here. So I got another Tulumnia from Springwater Orchids. Look at her, she is, she is so pretty. I do not think I have this color. Uh, she's like a, a light pink. <laughs> uh, and this is her tag. These are all just um, Tulumia hybrids. That's a tag for her. Now, I paid for this one, um, 35, which is a little bit more than I paid for my other Tulumnias, um, just because of the size. <sighs> look at the size. And there's still mosquitoes out here right now. Um, look at the size of the plant. So the plant is pretty big. Now, she is in this little plastic um, mount. And when I showed you guys the video, I know you guys are not fans of this plastic. It's the first time that I have an orchid mounted on it. And she's pretty established on here. So I think that I am going to be leaving her 
and just see what happens. I have nothing on plastic. Everything is on, on um, either bare root or on some type of cork or wood mount. Um, but this plastic thing here will last forever. And I asked after I got your 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 um after I got your input about the plastic, I did ask Tan, and he was like, you know what, that plastic is gonna last forever. And he likes it. He mounts a lot of things on the plastic, so I am gonna leave her mounted on the plastic. See how it goes. And I'm just gonna hang her here with my other Tulumias. So this was, believe it or not, the only purchase that I made at the show. Um, I saw so many pretty orchids, um, but to be honest with you, I have so many Cattleyas that I'm gonna wait until my Cattleyas start blooming. I mean, unless I see something that blows me away, I do not wanna add any more Cattleyas for now to my collection, especially during this time. It's too, too rainy, and unless I mount them, um, Unless I mount them, I'm not gonna have keep them in pots because that's just um, asking for fungal issues. That's just asking for trouble. All right, um, something that I got, which was a gift, I, it wasn't a purchase, it was um, from a subscriber. She is so sweet. So Jen Ven is her last name. <laughs> um, she's like, I hope you don't, remember, you don't forget me. Um, so of course I'm not gonna forget you, Jen. Thank you so much for this gift. She gave me this beautiful Vanda. Look at that. Look at what a pretty Vanda. And this is the tag. So she actually did not buy this at the show. She actually um, ordered this Vanda from Moats at a BOGO sale. And she got two of these. So she told me that she held it for a month for me. Isn't she the sweetest? She held it for a month for me in her garden. Um, and she waited um, to see me. She gave it to me on Saturday and she says, I was holding it for you and finally I was able to come and give it to you. So Jen, I love it. Look at how pretty this Vanda is. I don't have her in my collection. She's like all purple. And, and that is her tag. I can't wait for it to bloom. As a matter of fact, um, she was telling me that she, she thinks that there's a spike um, forming. So hopefully, oh my goodness, my neighbors are being very loud. What is going on? All right, so um, hopefully um, she'll bloom soon and I'll be able to share with you guys her blooms and show Jen um, how it's blooming. Again, oh my goodness, what is going on with that neighbor screaming like crazy? So um, so yeah, very excited about this, this Vanda. Thank you for my gift, Jen. I really, really appreciate it. Um, let's see, another, let's see, another gift I got, goodness gracious was from Rick. Mr. Hoya, look at how pretty this Hoya he gave me. Look at the, look at the leaves. It has like a little pointy, little pointy um, end there. And I think it's so cute how now they have them in these, these little cups uh, because they do start off really, really little. And, um, and he gave me this and I thought it was so sweet. Um, I'm telling you, his booth was packed. It was packed since the beginning. I was like, holy moly. Um, so let me show you the tag for this one. Um, it is called the Hoya RB um, Dick P EPC 196. So this is the, the tag for this Hoya. I can't wait to see the flowers on them. And I'm gonna put the Hoya right over here where I have the rest of my Hoyas and I have one that's, that's sprouted. And I'm gonna put her here along with all of these. All of these are from Rick, you guys. So if you guys are into Hoyas, definitely go give them, um, give, a, give a look to, um, to what he has. He's got a YouTube channel also. And, um, and he's got a Facebook page where he, he auctions off and he sells all of his Hoyas. So he must be, I mean, I'm sure what he has is beautiful stuff, but he must be super popular in the Hoya industry. I don't know because I, I'm not a Hoya collector. <laughs> Um, but his booth is the first one to be packed and it's packed all day long. So Rick, whatever you're doing, you keep doing it because let me tell you, you are like the God of Hoyas. But thank you very much for this Hoya. I can't wait for it to bloom. And then I got some cuttings. I love it when you guys bring me cuttings from your collection. So this was from a subscriber also. She's like, put it on a tree and not, I'm not sure what kind of dendrobium it is. And, um, I'm sure it's going to do amazing in your garden. So uh, that was from that was from a subscriber. So yeah, I didn't go crazy. I'm sorry I don't have a huge haul for you guys, um, but you know, little by little. I mean, I do go to orchid shows many times a year, so I have the opportunity to get 
you know other other orchids when I go visit um, so that's it you guys this is it for now I mean garden pretty much looks the same still haven't gotten the mulch fixed or I still haven't mounted this girl which I'm gonna do it today um, and then I also wanted to tell you that this weekend Ophi's gonna have their June um, sales event um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun show I unfortunately will not be there I am actually going to go to see my son. Um, my son's a baseball player. He plays um, college ball ball and I'll be going to Myrtle Beach. Maybe I'll do some, maybe I'll like do a little shorts and see you guys and show you guys um, what I'm up to over there in Myrtle Beach. But um, I will not be here, um, so I will not be attending that show. But please, 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 if you're local and you'd like to go, um, go give them, go give it a look. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be nice. You have Bred Bredron Orchids going to be there. Um, Smiley is going to be there, um, Orchids and Bloom is going to be there, and then, um, you know, the Kokidamas and Plant, Eucogenera is going to be there, which is, um, which is amazing if you're looking for aeroids. So it's going to be a nice show. Smiley is going to be taking some miniature, miniature, tiny orchids. Um, she's been doing a project and she puts them on these bonsais, which she's been sending me pictures and we've been in touch. Um, but unfortunately, I won't be there to show you guys, but Nelson's going to be there. So if you don't follow Nature Nell, uh, we're trying to get him to a thousand subscribers. If you don't follow him, give him a follow. He is amazing, you guys. He His videos are so cool and so informative. And he's actually going to walk you guys and show you exactly what um, what uh, Smiley's taking. So, um, so yeah, so give him a follow, Nature Nell. He'll show you guys... Um, the project that Smiley's doing and um, and it should be a fun show. Here's my big mama and this is my Uncidium Pacific Waters Wills something. Look at how pretty. Look at those blooms. How awesome. So let me show you the tag for that Uncidium right there. Can't get too close because the cat lady's in the way. This is a tag. So um, Pacific Waters with the picante those are the parents um so yeah if you're local and you want to go to that show it starts on saturday and lots of amazing vendors there you go and that's it you guys this is my morning walk hope you guys enjoyed it and just a little quick update if you're trying to if you're wanting to visit florida at this time of the year wear a tank top <laughs> and bring an umbrella because it is extremely hot extremely humid and it rains every day uh so yeah that's the florida forecast for you south florida is muggy it's super hot and super wet so uh anyways i hope you guys like this video i will um uh try to chime in um from myrtle beach show you guys what I'm up to over there. I can't wait to see my son. I can't wait to go to his baseball games. So um, I'm gonna miss you guys, but I'm also gonna be, you know, having some family time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, also, I am gonna get ready to water everything that I have under my terrace. I gotta give it enough water since I'm gonna be away, um, which is normally what I do when I'm gonna be out of town and not here. So uh, just make sure everything is nice and hydrated. Not worried about anything out here because I'm sure it's gonna rain, but everything under my terrace is gonna get a good soak before I leave. Here's the update on the spike on that Vanda Golden Doubloon. Can't wait to show you her blooms and I don't know if she continues to be happy here then maybe I'll leave her. I don't know yet. So anyways I'm babbling. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for um spending your time with me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, let me know in the comment section. Hope you guys can make it to Ophi's and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Uh, probably won't be back on until Monday or Tuesday of next week. So just in case you guys are wondering where I am, I am not gonna be home. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here. Somebody's gonna be home, but I'm not. So uh, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.